Matt, a, uh, another difficult afternoon for you. Yeah, difficult. Um, similar pattern, really, just a, obviously not an extreme scoreline, but in terms of the first half, we've stood a bit of pressure from the set piece aspect, which you're always going to do away from home at Port Vale with the physicality of their team. And somehow we kept those balls or those moments out the back of our net. Um, and then such a, I said so many times, such a poor moment for, for their goal. And an individual mistake, which can't happen, has happened. And then we started the second half where we just lost the middle of the pitch, any strength in the middle of the pitch. Um, and they got a little bit of a foothold in relation to that. And then another goal, which is the same sort of principle, but this time the mistake, as much as it's ours, is also the officials. And we've only got to watch that back to understand that. But then we still have to defend the outcome of that a lot better than we did. And then at 2 0, on a difficult surface, we're chasing the game and we just couldn't find a way to get the ball from A to B in a dangerous area. The first half was one of those where I think both sides would have been a little bit frustrated at times because they did have a couple of chances, but there wasn't a lot in it until yeah. the goal. But it is those moments just keep on yeah. happening to you, don't they? Yeah, first half we were there quite a few times and in clean possession quite a few times. You know, too many times, over-hit, under-hit crosses, poor execution and very few balls of note in around the opposition. Six-yard box for them to really stretch and defend. And then it puts more pressure on beans, so clean defensively for a longer time. But that is, you know yourself, that's a, a poor defensive moment. And, and then you, they're boosted and we're a little bit low. And, but I just, I was most disappointed with where we started the second half. Yeah. So and the second goal, you're right, how the referee missed it when he's almost in front of it is, is a question. But you've got three or four players between him and the goal yeah. and, and they didn't stop him. Yes, yeah. And that's us at the moment. And the excuse is someone else should be taking care of it as opposed to dealing with it ourselves, really. And, and whether he controls it with his hand or not, a player in the middle of the pitch can never turn and, and run at your back line. And if he does, then he doesn't get as far as he, he does and then finishes it off. So, you know, it's, it's bitterly disappointing. And then we couldn't find any way to force the issue. Um, a few nearly moments, a few half-hearted set-piece moments, but still they didn't really materialise into anything. And, and is that almost the, the biggest frustration, that you've been looking for a, a response to what happened just a couple of weeks ago and, and got a little bit of it, but, but not what you want, I would yeah, think? Well, we are. I use that word fragile, we are weak in, in, in too many areas at the moment and the moment that first goal went in it was a, a real kicker and then like I said, my biggest frustration in terms of the game scoreline of course but the way we started the second half wasn't spiky, it wasn't vibrant, it wasn't aggressive enough, it wasn't quick to the ball, we just lost too many little little jewels in that middle of the pitch and then, then you're making changes to really chase it and unless you've got powerhouses through the middle that was always going to be a game where the middle of the pitch was, was taken up so then it puts a little bit more pressure on the quality in, in wide areas um, and I think we probably put one cross of any note in the second half. So with Brandon he came on and, and, and did try and make a difference? Yeah he did, um, everyone's trying, some aren't capable and some can't quite do it and um, Brandon's the one with the extra bit of quality which we need probably on the pitch for longer but we also need him to come on the pitch when we're not chasing the game 2-0 down um, and he was bright enough he, he got to the ball and created some dangerous moments but they didn't really materialise. Um, we all know his situation with the injury and obviously what he went through this week and the last 24 hours. So uh, it's, I guess it's not, as a manager, you can't give a player confidence or a team confidence. How, how do you try and get them back to that? It's, it's, it's an interesting one because the way some are performing, some aren't capable of what we're, what we're asking to do, but the, the real fundamentals of football, you know, um, those moments in that first half a prime example where just can we beat a player or can we deliver a ball with enough quality and purpose to make we've got the best centre forward in the league to, who's on the move and, and before their first goal we've got a great crossing opportunity that goes out of play at the back post and can we build a constant we can just keep practising training as much as we possibly can valuing it um, but still valuing the, the dirty structure of football um, similar to the first goal and very similar to the second goal and, and I guess to turn it around, it's that little bit of confidence. So you, you need a result to then sort of have something to build on. Do you, do you have to go a little bit more defensive? I don't think so. We, you know, we can't be more defensive in terms of where you, you set a team up. We, we might have to get more energy at the top end of the pitch. Have a look at a change of shape in terms of how we get real energy. We tried to do that with, with Maka in the second half and he showed a few bursting runs, but like I say it never really materialised. Um, when it's 2-0, you, you're chasing attacking opportunities. Um, we want that from the start. You stood there after 40 minutes of the first half and it was a difficult first half for both teams thinking what's going to now make the difference of us going to go on and win the game and then all of a sudden you go in at half time and the half time discussion team talk changes slightly on the back of that goal. Yeah and you've then got to get them up for a, at least now you've got three games at home starting obviously with, with Shrewsbury. Is that going to help? Do you try and, and build something from that? Yeah I hope so but um, I think some of them are, are struggling a little bit in terms of the 
the longevity of this football club for, the, for themselves. You can see that. And you can see that in terms of when it does go against us, the intent aspect of, of the whole group and, and what we need to show as, as men, as people uh, in relation to that and a little bit more character, a little bit more fight. And there's different ways to show that. I'm not saying running around and smash people and headbutt the doors, etc. but showing real endeavour to, to make a difference. Um, and sometimes we, we do shy away from those moments. And that's partly quality and capabilities. It's partly experience um, and it's partly real care. Like it really matters in terms of what's next. And I suppose there's only so much you can do about that between now and, and, and the window. And it's going to be difficult. Season. It's going to be difficult. Everyone knows that. Um, there's a, almost a cycle coming to an end. Um, and at the end of this season, then there's obviously going to be every team has changes and loan players going back X, Y, Z. So it's, it's a natural thing, but maybe everything which has happened this season has gone towards a, a bigger change at the end of the season. But anything that happens now will also have a, an influence in terms of what those changes are. Um, and change is a horrible word because that's still looking at what's next, what's next right now, like we spoke about, is, is Shrewsbury on, on Monday. Um, and like I say, performance wise, we weren't where we needed to be again. The scoreline wasn't as drastic as it was previously, but it still, still hurts. And just finally, in terms of, of injuries, or players not involved today with um, with Elkin and, and, and Tristan, is, is it injuries? Is it, are they going to be available anytime soon? Um, not anytime soon. Um, Tristan's got a, a sore ankle. Elkin obviously is, is calf issue. Um, Josh Grant, bad news in terms of hips, hamstring. His season's pretty much over in relation to that. So, you know, that's 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 been a constant. Um, there's no real other updates other than possibly Luke Thomas coming back into the fold. In, maybe the next couple of days, more realistically, the, the following week. But um, a player with a bit more brightness and energy topping the pitch, so we welcome him back. Um, and then possibly Jack Hunt, we've just got to assess how he gets through a week's training.